one of the things that he said was that she was racist because she wanted to be surrounded by black guys and not white people. First of all, reverse racism, not a thing. Okay, so that's like the first thing. Not I don't understand that. I've, I've, I've never. I don't understand what that means. Like, what does reverse racism not a thing mean? Yeah. So when you were talking about like in in ism, right? Okay. So like sexism, racism, whatever it is, mm -hmm. you're looking at, and you can do a better job at this because you're a sociologist. But you're often looking at like the oppressor and oppressed historically. You're looking at historical context and things like that. And so when you look at that dynamic and the systemic problems, right? There's individual. There's going to be individual biases and stereotypes and things like that. But when you're looking at it on a systemic level. You can't like the oppressed can't be racist or sexist against the oppressor. But what if she's like, I hate white people because they're just inherently inferior to me, so I don't want them around me. Right, like I said, there can be sort of like an individual that can that can feel that way, but it's not like the whole racism because it's not a systemic problem. I get what you're saying. I think those words. Yeah, I get it. There's, there yeah. is, a, you have to take it into consideration the historical legacy of oppression mm -hmm. systems that have been happening since slavery, mm -hmm. you know. Um, but it's like if she's being racist toward white people, like she can be racist toward white people, right? I can be, you know, I as a Jew can be racist toward people who have oppressed me in the past. Yeah, I think it's just the way we're using these terms. Yeah, I, you know, and I think that that's we get caught up in in how we, you know, kind of semantics around these things. She's. You know, displaying bigoted behavior. She's saying things that are racist. 